what an interesting great video to just hey there ancient fans of lego hit that big old subscribe button but gently because i don't want to have to replace it we cannot afford another one and uh be sure to comment something super cool as you like this video uh you may have noticed that's right the new background it is um dull which uh, I've, i'm actually working on making a video explaining the process a little bit more intense but um basically it's collector's plates and you can see some reflection don't get me wrong actually this is the um which where's that reflection i don't know anyways um panning up so the fake wood had um a little bit of a motto up there that never got shown off very much but it says real lego fake wood honest opinions and i just don't pan up for that there's, there's no reason you can't you can't see the ground here um the recording pan of destiny and also that's my back wall so it's painted white and boring so there's no real reason to pan up that far but the reason we're painting up that far is because i have the skybox in progress now you can notice that the reflection is visible in these lower four one two three four sixteen by sixteens covered in collector bases it's a, a modified plate or a modified tile, depending on how you look at it. Uh, three by four with four studs. I believe they call it a modified plate on BrickLink. I don't know the official. I really should know the official Lego one name for it. Anyways, um, but up here you can see my reflection much more vividly. And especially as I pull back, you can see the motion in the top half, but not the bottom. So we need two more here. I do have the 16 by 16 for it. And I think... Seeing as I have more than half a quart uh, bag full of collector plates, I think I have enough collector plates for it. Now, I'll explain the whole thing in more detail at some point, but um, let's put a couple things in front of it just to, just to give us a little bit of flavor. Wow. All you can see... Well, we got to zoom in just a tiny bit. So all you can see is Lego. Maybe you can see just a little bit on the edges, but the point being is that we're very close to such a very reasonable goal of being able to only see the Lego when we are taking pictures, photography, um, just reviewing things in general. Kind of a neat idea, right? Um, real quick, the teaser for the um, the method is that I used a magic eraser, a, a Mr. Clean magic eraser to scuff up all my um, collector plates. And, you know, I would say it was worth it. I don't really mind it. It definitely cuts down the reflection a lot. Some of them could be re-scuffed. There's a little bit. And then the clutch power isn't terribly affected, but I'll, like I said, I'll, we'll go into more of it. But it just, it dulls them just a little bit. It doesn't, it's not even obvious. Not even obvious, but it's a, a thing that I wanted for my town's skybox is to have a nice good um less than reflective black background so now we have that if you notice the stars are also still above the buildings which i think i think that's about the height limit i want maybe a little higher but the stars in the sky will be up a little bit higher than that i will um be redoing these two 16 by 16s including the one with the moon over there um and uh, we'll be we'll be scuffing them up too so that they match. And I think this isn't too bad. If I was reviewing something, just doing a casual video building something, perhaps uh, you can see some reflections, but it's not it's negligible, right? Not, definitely not too bad. Look at this horse. Here's some trees. This is from that haul video I made this week, so do be sure to watch that. Um, that good cake, but you know, you're not seeing their reflections in it. Now, I think if I were to hold this up higher and I have to pan for this one, can you see them in that? I feel like you can definitely see the green tree. Hard, hard, hard to see. Kind of can see my hand. Can't really see it down there. You can see little bits of movement, but up here, yeah, there's the tree. So all that work, it took me way longer than I wanted to take on it. Um, to do it, to, to scrub all those plates down. And then there's still a little bit of uh, magic eraser left in some of the crevices, but I cleaned them up pretty good. Anyways, you wouldn't believe how hard it is to uh, 
um, find <laughs> articles online about scuffing up Lego, making it worse. So I guess I'm your number one resource on the internet for making your Lego look old. So if you enjoy this town update, please let me know. The town building progress was minimal. Most of the progress was definitely the um, the background, but it's nice to have it. Look, you can see it over here and over here, and it's great. But uh, if you enjoy this video, there's an automatic over here. Subscribe on the horse, and then over there by the tavern sign is a video that I will, it'll just be something I want you to watch, you know, something I think needs a little extra attention. So thanks for being here, anxious fans. Do subscribe. Like I said, though, don't break that button. I'm not replacing it um, once it's broken. And I'll uh, see you guys eventually. Probably. <laughs>